Hey guys, hope you are doing very well today. And altcoins are having a great weekend. They are just pumping, and Bitcoin and Ethereum is uh, just consolidating, sideways today. So let's go to our favorite bubble chat and see what uh, the market is doing. You see, most of the altcoins are in green. Few of them are in red, but uh, those are in red really rallied well in the past few days, especially Axis Infinity rallied yesterday, FTT, and also XDC uh, rallied really well. Now Matic seems to be breaking up, also Sciacoin uh, breaking up, I Internet Protocol, IOTA, Quant, Filecoin, Compound, Wi-Fi looking great, also GRT almost 8% plus. So the market is doing well let's check our favorite indicator the crypto fear and greed index and let's see what is uh, it today 73 so almost uh, not too much uh, changing in the past uh, few days so we are around this uh, 70 and 75 zones and this is a greed but not an extreme fear yet and also you know that uh, the index was more almost more than three months uh, in the extreme fear. And when uh, the market is fearful, then investors are too worried. And that is a good buying opportunity. When uh, the greed is there and the greed is higher and higher, then is it due for a correction. But you know, nothing in this video can be considered as a financial advice. So this is just for educational purposes only. Our first news that Bitcoin bull run sparks 180,000 US dollar price prediction ahead of institutional fireworks okay so this is about that uh, crypto seeing spectacular se september even though that bitcoin used to correcting in september and uh, the recipe is break about 50000 then we will see uh, 58 and 60000 to flow sitting about the 200 day moving average which is which is now acting as support what is your price discovery plan about those highs, three times seems reasonable, which is around 160,000. You don't go make new all time highs for 10% gains, verge breaking out in the last range. So, so according to this analysis, if Bitcoin would uh, <clears throat> break about uh, 65,000 US dollar and making a new all time high, then uh, it would definitely go to 100,000. Uh, 80,000. Okay, so 180,000 uh, BTC price is a curious prospect for many and beat even to more optimistic 135,000 minimum target set by stock to flow creator plan B for the end of 2021. Spe uh, September has been a spectacular month of, for crypto thus far. Yes, they will announce their purchase between uh, between September 7 and November uh, 19 enjoy the fireworks so institutions will release their uh, quarterly reports and uh, it's supposed that uh, they will announce that they purchase bitcoins and they have a, a bitcoin in their balance sheet okay our next piece of news is that uh, 60,000 uh, ethereum exit exchanges here is why it's bullish for ethereum yeah, so definitely when uh, you see it, uh, this on uh, from crypto crypto quant, uh, huge amount sixty thousand Ethereum uh, was withdrawn from the exchanges, and they are uh, as so high number of Ethereum leaving exchanges that it causing a supply shock because also uh, more than um, seven billion worth of Ethereum, uh, I guess. Oh no, seven. 7 million uh, Ethereum is uh, deposited in the, in the Ethereum 2.0 smart contract and also uh, a lot of uh, almost 25% of the total supply deposited in DeFi contracts and also as people are withdrawing from exchanges then there will be less and less Ethereum on exchanges and that will lead to supply shock. Our next piece of news is Franken Templeton six experts for Bitcoin trading and crypto research. So not just uh, not just uh, 
the fidelity is bullish on uh, Bitcoin and crypto, but Franklin Templeton too as well. So with more than 1.4 trillion in assets under management, Franklin Templeton is one of the world's largest independent asset uh, manager, and they are looking for crypto professionals, and uh, they are they starting their crypto division. Uh, uh, so probably they will sell uh, crypto investment clients. Great. Our next piece of news is Coinbase partners with esports organization to bridge gaming uh, and crypto. So uh, I don't know what will happen with this, but maybe there will be some games within Coinbase and also they will use different uh, tokens for that. So I think uh, that's a uh, huge news uh, because um, with uh, gamification, users are in engaging more and also can attract more and more new users in crypto. Our next piece of news is the payment giant Visa is reportedly working on NFT solutions. So last week they purchased a crypto pump for 150,000 US dollar. Now maybe it first uh, 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 double then a uh, week ago and they are coming in the NFT space and definitely they are working on to create NFTs and uh, giving NFTs to their users and, and encouraging them to use their financial services uh, and NFTs and also uh, Visa is using Ethereum's blockchain and also uh, USDC stable coins for settled transactions. Uh, so that's huge and they will come out with NFTs. Our next piece of news is buying Bitcoin and Ether just got easier in Honduras with cryptocurrency ETM. So Honduras is a neighbor country of El Salvador. We know that El Salvador, the uh, Bitcoin uh, be, uh, became a legal tender. And then uh, there are also a lot of ETMs and kiosks. Uh, they are preparing that uh, uh, people will be addro with Bitcoin and they are uh, they they are able to withdraw from ETMs. But in Honduras, people are using crypto ETMs to purchase Bitcoin and Ethereum. So that's huge news. And also uh, we, we might see in the future that Honduras uh, will adopt crypto on a higher level. So we we'll see. Our next piece of news is Chinese regulator aims to digitize securities market using blockchain and smart contracts. So China kicked out Bitcoin miners. China uh, said no to crypto. And now they are creating their own smart contracts. Um, but I think that would be much better and more secure if they would use uh, one of uh, the existing smart contracts, uh, public blockchains like uh, like. Uh, Ethereum or even Solana or, or Cardano, but uh, they are developing their own. Our next piece of news is major hotel in Swiss Alps now allows crypto payment. So this is uh, the Cherry Up uh, Undermont has 123 rooms and uh, one night going as for less. One night is a 1,300 Swiss franc uh, in the high season or roughly 0 0.03 uh, or 0 uh, 0 0.03 BTC. So they are accepting Bitcoin, but they are converting their Bitcoin into fiat immediately. So I don't know this is a good idea. So I, if I would be uh, an executive of this luxury uh, hotel, then definitely uh, we are generating enough revenue in fiat. Uh, definitely I would choose to hold the crypto uh, in our balance sheet, but they are not doing this. Mm, maybe they will change their mind later. The next adoption related news, shop.com now accepts Bitcoin payments after partnership with BitPay. We know that BitPay is one of the uh, bigger provider, payment provider that uh, corporations uh, can integrate and they will allow payment with Bitcoin, Ether and Dogecoin as well. Several major dollar packs and several dollar um, packed stable coins. So that's a huge news. 
So uh, it's showing that adoption is going higher and uh, we can spend, we can use crypto, not just Bitcoin, but also other altcoins and stable coins uh, out there. So our next piece of news is I see punks to release 10,000 free NFTs in the debut drop on the internet computer. IC Punk's uh, clown based collectibles are seemingly inspired by the musical duo in Insane Clown Posts and the early NFT project CryptoPunks. So they are dropping these NFTs on the IC, uh, ICP, so Internet Protocol, Internet Computer, sorry. We are incredibly excited for the launch of IC Punks on the Internet Computer. The NFT space is moving at such a rapid pace. It is amazing to be a part of it. We have a lot of plans for ICP punks, including an NFT marketplace. This is the first step towards that. And yeah, so they are uh, dropping these NFTs. Uh, I don't know who who, who the hell uh, got these NFTs, but maybe if you store your uh, internet computer coin on your own uh, Ledger on your own uh, address, then maybe you got an, uh, this NFT. I will leave it open. Yes, and here, here we are with this. And you know, there was a news two days ago that Fidelity predicted 1 billion, 1 billion Bitcoin price um, at 2038. Uh, and now, uh, here they come with the 100 million prediction. So why so bearish fidelity suggests Bitcoin price could rise to 100 million US dollar. And this is this chart that they are using also comparing to gold. So uh, they predict Bitcoin uh, to go as gold did in uh, from the uh, 1970s. And as you see, it's really looks similar. Just we have some uh when uh, it's decoupling but most of the times is going similar up as uh, as gold and if bitcoin will reach gold market caps that uh, uh i think <coughs> the price will, will be just a half a million uh, us dollar and let's see by the end of the decade when bitcoin's inflation rate will be around 0.5 this model predicts that the cryptocurrency will be valued at 1 million US dollar. According to the stock to flow model, which they appear to be believers, that is what the stock to flow model will show. Fidelity, as they become more interested in Bitcoin, appear to become more and more bullish on the asset itself. If they, Fidelity, are saying that basically we are in the 1970s, of course, but, but but for Bitcoin now, they are calling for a very, very material increase in price of Bitcoin. To see Fidelity show a chart that says that Bitcoin is going to be at $100 million by 2035 is very incredible. Okay, and they, they just predicted Bitcoin to go $1 billion US dollar to at 2038. Okay, I will leave it open. Yes, the stock to flow model also uh, <coughs> signaling almost the same. And that was the prediction from uh, Fidelity. One Bitcoin may be worth one billion. Uh, and this is the Bitcoin supply and demand model that they are using. Also, uh, this is the uh, stock to flow model. And this model is their uh, model that they are using different uh, uh, <clears throat> indicators and then it shows that uh, after reaching 100 million in 2035 uh, uh, then within a few years maybe uh, end of uh, the 2030s it will um, it will go to 1 billion okay so our next piece of news is from TechCrunch and what is that news maybe not that news okay oops yeah i don't know what was that news but it's closed for now so okay so that was for today this is a, a kind of news i missed because uh, today is weekend and these are uh, the most relevant news that uh, 
um, I, I, I saw uh, during the week, but uh, forgot to pull up and showing you this. But let's go now to the chart, see what Bitcoin is doing. So Bitcoin is still above the 50,000 US dollar levels. Uh, uh, as we are uh, in the weekend, the market is uh, it's a little bit uh, cooled down. Uh, we will see what will happen tomorrow. And Bitcoin lining up this 50,500. Uh, 50, so, and, and also, you know, that we have also the Fibonacci level at 50,200. Uh, and also, uh, there is a, a strong resistance, this 51,000 US dollar levels. So, we we'll see if Bitcoin can break these levels uh, early next week. That would lead to a nice run up up to 38,000 and uh, six, uh, uh, 60,000 levels so definitely uh, take a look on bitcoin chat and as uh, we are checking the bitcoin dominance it's it's just going down and down so that is good for altcoins altcoins are pumping well and the uh, bitcoin dominance after a few day side wave just uh, dropped and now we are at 21. okay what other coins are doing ADA is also consolidating after reaching free us dollar made a new all-time high now coming back and also there are some rumors about the smart contracts but i will uh, bring this news in the next uh, episode so uh, ADA uh, will launch uh, its smart contracts on 12 of september so definitely we can wait some nice uh, news coming out and some hype and then can push uh, the price higher to the upper uh, upper uh, trend line of this channel and yes so what else do we have <clears throat> yeah we have binance coin binance coin re really tried yesterday to break uh, uh 500 us dollar but failed but not lining up so as you see this trend line is really supporting well and we have we have also higher lows higher yeah not higher highs but higher lows here so definitely we are going into the this uh, ascending triangle and this, this will help to break this 50,000 US dollar resistance. <clears throat> Cake is doing well, uh, just consolidating and also reaching, uh, almost reached our buy zone and every pullback in Cake, I think it's a good buy. And what else, Comp is doing well. Yeah, Comp is at uh, the resistance levels and not trying to break up. If it will break up, then we can easily see a nice run up up to uh, to new all time highs at uh, 900 and that would lead that would bring us almost uh, 75 78 percent profit DeFi index is looking good so as comp and other DeFi projects are going higher DeFi index is looking good yeah dot is consolidating eos is uh i i like eos in this uh on this chart because i see that after bottom down uh increasing just slightly but when we will get the news uh, from the bullish exchange that they will launch the bullish exchange i think definitely it will pump uh maybe three four times from here okay litecoin uh, just broke up uh, recently and also doing well for now. Matic broke up yesterday, did a really nice run up. That was a one day candle. And it it was almost 18, 18 or maybe 19 percent run up uh, in one day. So congratulations if you hold Matic or if you uh, if you did trade Matic uh, uh, in, on this channel, uh, uh, just we bought at 0 0.85 and now it is in a nice profit and also you can take profits in these levels. But you know, this is not a financial advice, do your own research. Yes, Solana is cannot, cannot, cannot be stopped. Uh, just yesterday consolidated a little bit, came down to 100, uh, uh, 37 levels 
and now also it seems to be that maybe uh, uh, just uh, coiling up for another run up I haven't reached yeah it, it, it reached yesterday 150 but now it's a little bit consolidating yes theta is looking good also uh, the same that like compound is breaking up and targeting the next resistance zone we chain did a nice run up in the, uh, in this week and, and we are at this resistance level hopefully it will break xlm looking good in the bitcoin pair and what else yes almost uh, yeah almost uh, this axis infinity uh, yesterday broke up from the lower lower trend line of this channel and now targeting the upper trend line and i think that it will mark 100 US dollar very very soon one inch also broke up uh, and now we are at the resistance zone so hopefully it will manage to break this yes so guys definitely you should uh, join our telegram we are talking about crypto and also Corionex in uh, this telegram channel you find uh, the link in the description and also let's uh, visit our farms uh, we have farms uh, running also on ethereum uh, you can uh, you can uh, provide liquidity on Uniswap and you can uh, stake your API tokens for 330% uh, uh, APR and also you can go to PancakeSwap and use the BSC version of Corionex and providing liquidity on PancakeSwap and also doing uh, and earning almost the same uh, APRs there. So, guys, hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. Please smash the like, smash the like, push the bell notification on, and also subscribe on the channel. Thank you for watching this video, sharing with your friends. Have a nice Sunday. We'll come back with other news very, very soon. So, enjoy your day. Bye bye.